you have to do your duty you have to call people all human beings are all equal you call these people whosoever responds now you must embrace him you must give the attention to him you must love him whosoever has responded positively to the call maybe he is from the high uh, cadres of the society or maybe he belongs to the lower cadres of the society it is absolutely irrelevant fatatrudahum if you drive them away fatakun amin zalimin a very stern warning then you will become yourself from among the evil doers don't discriminate between these dif- different levels that only the high people can come to you the nobility can come to you and not these common people wh- whom they call the menials wa kazalika fatarna ba'dahum bi ba'd and in this way we have we have to, we try and test someone through someone else i have made them belonging to the class of slaves and made him and i have made made him he was born to a chief of the of any clan of the quraish i have done this for them so that i try and test you with each other wa kazalika fatarna ba'dahum bi ba'd li yaqulu ha haula manna allah alayhim min ba'dina so that these should say this nobility would say are these the people the menials of our society allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them leaving us aside because if this is his real blessing of allah then they are the blessed ones how come we are the chiefs we are wealthy people we are the strong type strong people we have all the uh, things of the, this world and is these are the people chosen by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this bilal this abbar this yasir are these the people whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed alas allah ala ba bi shakirin is not allah more aware of who is really grateful allah knows that bilal is grateful to him allah knows that yasir is grateful to him thankful to him allah knows that abu jahl is arrogant he might be a chief in his own place but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't you know the criteria with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are different from the criteria that you have in your mind waiza jaat alladheena yu'minun now just focus your attention please now firstly there was the commandment don't drive them away these poor people these slaves whosoever they are if they are responded positively to your call if you if they believe in allah if they call allah evenings and mornings if they are also want the pleasure of allah you embrace them now the positive side waiza jaat alladheena yu'minuna bi ayatina and when those who believe in our revelations come to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fa qul salamun alaykum you should welcome them with greetings salute them say to them peace be upon you kataba rabbukum ala nafsihi rahma your lord congratulations your lord has taken upon himself mercy he will deal with you with the all the mercy that he has annahu man amila minkum su'an bi jahalatin and one manifestation of his mercy is that whosoever amongst you commits something wrong something evil due to ignorance and jahala means in arabic also you know emotional a person who is emotional not logical not rational he is also jahil ignorance as well as emotionalism so in some emotional outburst you know if you somebody has has from amongst you committed something wrong summa taaba min ba'dihi but then he repents he turns his face again to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance waslaha and he mends his way he rectifies himself the the mistake that he can be committed he rectifies it fan fanahu ghafur rahim this is the this is the glad tidings that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghafur he is forgiving and he is merciful wa kadhalika nufassilu al-ayati wa latastabina sabilul mujrimin and in this way we are making our revelations explained nufassir tafsil kadhalika nufassilu al-ayati we are explaining our revelations wa latastabina sabilul mujrimin or so that the way of the criminals the way of the sinners should become absolutely clear 
so that the moments can avoid the ways and means and etiquettes of those who are sinning, who are unbelieving.